how can I help others feel less lonely without being clingy or annoying? Gosh, that was great. Um, one of the ways I think we can help others by by not being clingy or annoying is, is listening to people. I think listening is such a lost art right now uh, and asking really thought-provoking questions. If there's one thing that I see that Christ did so well, I mean, he did everything perfectly, right? But like, I love the way when people asked him questions, he re- responded with a question, right? He knew how to ask really, really good questions. And so when somebody's feeling lonely like that, sometimes just being silent, just being available is one of the greatest things there. They don't need you to try and fix them. They don't need you to try and diagnose the problem. Um, and, and often it's a lot less of you talking, a lot more listening. So you might ask a question like, oh, you know, you know, what are the ways I can help you in that? But like get them to start talking about the way they're feeling about that. And I think that's the best way you can, um, can love them. Uh, unfortunately, you and I are broken and flawed, though, so sometimes we will be annoying. Sometimes we will be clingy, and this is why humility is so important, um, that we that we realize that we're not going to do things perfectly, but there's an authenticity and an honesty when we actually say, you know, I'm sorry I'm doing that. I just love you enough that I want to come alongside you, but would you, uh, would you allow me, would you invite me into this pain so I can come alongside you? Um, and, you know, one of the hardest things about that is sometimes the answer is no. And we have to deal with that. Sometimes the people in our lives that we love, sometimes the answer is no, they don't want us, to, they don't want us in there. And um, we're not held accountable for that. We're held accountable for our responses to people's actions, but not other people's actions. And so do everything you can to love that person and, and find creative ways to be alongside them if they allow you. Um, and if not, uh, you pray. Uh, and actually, you pray regardless, but like pray for this person pray that the lord would bring people into their lives pray if that if it is you he'd give you words to speak and um, ears to listen to what they're going through so that they know that you actually care um so yeah i think that'd be where i'd go but all these questions have been really good thank you again so much for all of them um, i hope this just again just fosters this idea that you can go to god with your questions there are there are answers to your questions and he cares about them um so yeah thank you so much for your time um, Yeah, I look forward to seeing you all again.